Hello and welcome to Puzzle Master. This is the Puzzle Guy and in this video I will show you how to solve the U-turn puzzle. This puzzle was made by Tucker Jones House in the United States. It is a handmade puzzle, it is made from metal, it is hand-forged puzzle. The difficulty level of the U-turn puzzle is 8 out of 10 on a Puzzle Master's difficulty scale that runs from 5 to 10. And the goal of the puzzle is to remove the ring. The U-turn puzzle is a part of the Tavern Puzzle Collection. There, there are a lot of amazing puzzles in this collection, from uh, difficult level 5 up to difficult level 10. Some of them are very easy, some of them are extremely difficult to solve and it will take days and weeks trying to figure out them. This puzzle has a couple of interesting parts. This one looks like a horseshoe, this one looks like a triangle or a heart shape. They are both connected together with these two parts. And if you try to move the ring around, you will find that it looks impossible to remove it since if you go here, you won't be able to remove it. If you move it around the horseshoe on the other side, it basically looks exactly the same. So you won't be able to remove it. So we have to find the correct solution and it will be quite a challenge since some of the moves in this puzzle are very tight and they will be very difficult to find. If you like how the U-turn puzzle looks and you want to buy it, go to puzzlemaster.ca. And if you already bought this puzzle and don't know how to solve it, keep watching the video to see the solution. And now I will show you how to solve the puzzle. So the solution is quite tricky as I told you and some of the moves are very tight. First what you have to do is grab the ring, put it right here next to this loop, put it inside and move it around the wooden ball here. Now remove the ring. It is very tight as I promised. It's not the solution yet. We just move the ring from inside of the horseshoe to here. Now to remove it you have to put the ring through this part, through this part and around the wooden bead. And this is the trickiest part since here the move is so tight that you have to find the correct position for all of the parts. You don't have to force it, you have just to find the perfect position for all of the parts to remove it. If it doesn't work well, you can move the ring to the opposite side and try it here. Maybe this part has a little bit more clearance and you can just put it in. Yeah, it looks like it works better on this side. So you put the ring through two parts. Then you move it around the wooden bead. And then you can try to remove it. But again, eh, very tight. So let, let me try to make it not so tight since I don't want to force it a lot. In order to solve the puzzle, force is usually not allowed when solving puzzles. I think that I have to make sure that these two don't cross each other. Let's try to put it back. Even putting it back is quite a challenge now since two parts have crossed and it's difficult to push everything back. Okay ring is removed. Now I'll keep two parts next to each other, try to not to cross them, if it is possible, since they always want to go one on top of another, like that, you can see it. Yeah, probably without crossing it is not possible. Or maybe I can move to this one, then to this one, then I try to move around the wooden bead. Please, yeah. And now I can remove the ring and the puzzle is solved. As you could see, quite a difficult one since the moves here are very tight. To put everything back, you have to grab the puzzle and put the ring through two of these parts. I'll try not to cross them again since crossing usually makes it difficult. But if you just put it next, well, next to each other, it's a little bit easier. And maybe I will put just through one part then through another, it will help me a little bit as well. So goes here, then goes here, then I can move the wooden bit a little bit, put the ring on the other side, and now remove the ring. Almost done, almost. Oh yeah, okay. And the last move, I have to put the ring inside of 
this loop. It is quite easy around the wooden bead. And now it is inside the horseshoe and the puzzle is solved both ways. As you can see, quite a tricky puzzle since when you solve it yourself and you find that you can't push the ring any further, it makes you doubt your moves and you're trying to find another approach to solving the puzzle. But actually you were doing everything correct. You just had to put all parts in the perfect position and only then you will be able to remove the ring. So quite an interesting puzzle. If you like the U-turn puzzle and you wanna try some other amazing puzzles from Tucker Jones house, go to puzzlemaster.ca. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Thank you.